Hello everyone, my name is Eliote and welcome back to Bug Fables. Since we just finished chapter 4, I came back to the telescreen and to show you that on the top left, on top of that strawberry like house, we now have a Stossilis and a burglar on the house. So, that ahead, let's get started. And last time, all we did was start chapter 5. After being invaded by the Wasp Kingdom, well, mainly the Wasp King and its troopers. Well, yes, the Wasp King, but Wasp is a hard word to say. But before we get started on Chapter 5, I want to do everything else like side quests and menial tasks, like returning a book, lore book right here. Wow, that looks like it's been here for a while. Has it been? Oh, why was it organized like that? Oh, let's just read it. The Everlasting Sapling. It is said that the sapling was a creation of the roaches. The legends of the saplings have brought the first settlers to Bulgaria, bring upon the creation of the ant kingdom. According to legends, it is said that eating even one of its leaves will grant immortality to the bug that eats it. Our only clues to its whereabouts are artifacts mentioned in ancient texts. They say one resides in Sigvath Den, but its dangers have proven too, too much to conquer. Was it truly made by the roaches? Could it have vanished the roaches to because I've caused the roaches to vanish? I hope this chapter of history will be cleared up in my lifetime. I don't know if the authors of these the author of these books are ever said, but hopefully they're still alive around this time, but perhaps they're not since they get to mention lesser bugs and Queen Eliza's first rule. But let's just put in our discoveries. And I am excited to learn more. I did read them all the first time, but I forgot. So it's new to me, but since we got 27 discoveries, we got the Victory Buzz Medal. And I think this is also a very valuable badge. We have three medal points, so hopefully we can equip this. There it is. Wait. There it is, Victory Buzz. After a successful battle, the party will cover 4 TP. That is incredibly worth it. And. Do we have a bad book? I don't think we do. No, we do not. Alright. And so, anything else? I want to actually go back to Artist since we didn't have any time to since we were being attacked by Wasp. And let me just get around. There are new quests, but I'll check out the board later. Wow. The statue has fallen off. That really shows how bad the Wasp Kingdom's attack was, or ambush, or invasion. One of those words worked. And if I remember correctly, there is a spot here for us to dig. And dark cherries, very rare berries that somehow grow underground. Some collectors will buy them for a high price. Wow, this is a very important cooking item. I will not be able to showcase it much right now but hopefully in just a moment but let's talk to artist first as i said hey you're back let's see how you've been doing with that metal of mine hmm good job folks you defeated that hardened dune scorpion was it too challenging for you you deserve a reward here take this hard charge metal allows a quick bug to use the hard charge which grants maximum charge in exchange for hp Ooh, that is that might be worth it the Watcher too. All right, the main boss. Enfeeble skill, which reduces an enemy's attack for two turns. Oh, and Asasalis. Wow. Triumph battle. Whoa. Okay. After a successful battle, the party recovers two HP. Whoa. Three very strong badges, depending on how you use one of them. But Triumph Buzz. Whoa. Okay. Wow. These only apply at the end of the battle. But, oh, I like, I like the little three bugs that are shown here. I just noticed that it's green, yellow, and blue, which is Kabu V Leaf. That's, that's cute. But, hmm. Hard Charge. I do want to try that badge out. Because, well, I want to try a new strategy. But, oh, you haven't really defeated our, any hardhead foes yet, have you? Well, I didn't mean to talk to you, but thank you. Um... I want to check the rest of the Ant Kingdom out first, but wow, this really gives up more available strategies. Wow, 
I'm so quick on my toes with words. I could be a streamer one day. No, I have no plans of that. It would be exciting, but I don't think it'd be as fun as recording. Who did I want to talk to? Oh yes, I want to talk to you. You look extremely depressed now because you had this armor to fight seedlings and you were highly confident. I, even with all this armor, I couldn't help. We're not to kick an ant when she's down. Yeah, at least she tried to help. I, I'm so proud. Yeah, even though we were still invaded and it was still highly dangerous for everyone, you did your best, and that's what matters. You tried to help, and that's good. You were, you had your heroic moments. But, I need to check on my money. Is it heroic to be capitalistic? I don't think so, but it's okay. 110 berries. Uh, we can increase the rate of interest. Wait, I meant I want there to be a total of 200, not... Okay, this is 10 more than what I... Words. You understand what I mean. I wanted to add a total of at least 200, but yeah, with the bank, it is actually very forgiving on how you use berries. And let me talk to you because you're new. How can a bug live here? The sun is so strong. Oh, well, I don't think it's that bad. Look, me, a bee's come to keep you company. Uh, with how she's faring, maybe she should go back to the hive. But yes, about berries. In the early game, it is actually pretty hard to get a very sustainable stack, or like, a very healthy, wow, is sustainable a good word for it? Well, a stack of berries that could use you, that you could use for like, long term. But with the bank, and with how many berries we've been getting because enemies are harder, we've also been leveling up, berries are not going to be that harsh to find anymore. And oh, this badge, poison needle. Ooh, grants poisoning power to V's needle skill because we did earn a new skill. I just haven't shown it off. It's the needle pincer. Hits an enemy twice with needles, dealing piercing damage. Must target the first grounded enemy. We'll use this the moment I can. But it is a grounded attack and it's very strong because it also negates defense. But let me see if there's any more med no I think that's just the new metal that's been added but let's check out the extra metal shop down by this totally not shady area oh free lore book I guess the people like here reading too people here like to read too yes let me see oh poison touch if the equipped allies attack is directly is attacked directly while poisoned the attacker has a chance of getting poisoned just like the other metal we have that we did not get to use much because there's only one enemy frostbite or one enemy that freezes us frostbite but we could use items like the frozen salad but i'll take that off and actually equip hard charge to oh exchange for hp it could be worth it to do it on kaboo but yeah i think it's worth it but let's see what other metals you have, because if they have a poison needle up there, you could have boost an ally's defense by one Barusa attack. No, I like my attack and defense. No other needle pincing. All right, I guess there. Well, I guess I guess there isn't. But you're new to here, huh? This guy's new. Yes, as I said, V. He keeps staring at us. Let's see what he wants. Huh? That smell. You found some dark cherries, haven't you? Uh, well, yes. How did you... Snore? <laughs> yes, yes, I can feel their scent all over you. I have a lot of dark cherries with me, you see. I can smell them from miles away. Miles for a bug... Real life miles or bug size miles? So rare and valuable. Dear cherry lovers, I'll sell some of mine for 50 berries each. What? Can't you lower that a bit? Finding these chairs is no easy task, even for my expert nose. 50 berries, it's a steal. We did hear some amazing recipes using them. Hmm. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Please consider it, cherry lovers. It's an amazing deal. Mmm. Great cooking properties, you say? Well, we might have some use cooking, but we'll cook in another area and no animation for us getting out of there. And so, 
with both areas of the ant kingdom checked out, I want to check out the quest board. Power plant investigation. It's too hot or wanted. <laughs> Stolen item. Explore check. Lost item. Levy. My brother's gone. Helpers need it at once. Mmm. I. This is a lot of quests. But I have a couple of them I want to do. Lost item by an unknown bug. I lost a collector's item. Last time I saw it, it was somewhere in the Sunset Inn. We may have to find Roots' discreet place for the reward when you find it. Yeah, we'll take it. By Sunset Inn, I think we already have an item. If you remember what I saw. And... Ah, oh, Tangerine, your girlfriend's looking for you. Please, my hornets, come find me at my house in the orange tile place. I'll tell you more. <sighs> I mean, we do have to go back here to see what that one bug lost. And... I guess we could do... My brother's gone. Yep, I'll take it. And let me just double check if there's anything else. I mean, ore wanted? We do have an ore. I'm creating a most fantastic work, but I'm missing a rare ore. I cannot leave the town to search for, in, for it in Stream Mountain's Peak. Would anyone be able to go in my seed? I believe we've already found the ore. Don't know why I gave you that voice, but I will not be consistent with it. Power plane investigation and helpers need it at once. Ooh, mmm. I think power plane investigation. First, wait, let me read it first. Something went wrong at the Honey Factory Power Plant located in Golden Settlement. Requesting assistance from any available explorers for an investigation. Those who help will be rewarded greatly. Well, we knew previously that it was actually the Wasp who attacked the power plant, which enacted Code 32, but there's a there's a spot, there's a spot, there's a spot. Ah, uh, spot, spot, spot. And a crystal berry. Well, if only there were better metals that I would want to use at the moment besides just slight buff increases that I don't really think attribute so much of gameplay but before we head out we, I want to talk to Rebecca because this way was closed off and she was being attacked right my my such a ruckus outside you young ones are so full of energy I forgot to give you an old person voice, but I am okay, and I forgot about everything that happened outside, and I didn't even know that the wasps were attacking. <laughs> Why did I do that? But, but, where should we start? Do you have anything new for me? I think you do, right? No, you don't. Let me check which ones we should do first, because I completely forgot already. Lost item. Who brother's gone and or wanted power plane investigation i think the first one we can do or should start with is in the golden settlement i mean there's two things we should do here and then three other things we can do somewhere else on um, oh i didn't mean to see that spot but it's definitely worth it and team slacker is here for some reason probably with another bounty request it's, it's actually really fun to find them because during my first playthrough, I never saw them. But let's talk to see what bounty it is. Hey, uh, great, uh, hey, uh, great festival this year, eh? I know, right? We heard some interesting rumors during it. We heard some interesting rumors during it. You know the windmills leading to the settlement? Yeah, they help provide power to the bug area, do they not? Seems they tried to build one in a dangerous place and some workers got hurt. An incredible, incredibly cruel monster haunts the way to the Golden Settlement. Really? We didn't see anything on the way here. Apparently, it's pretty high up area. Does it ring any bells? But yeah, it'd be nice if the area got reclaimed. Maybe they could build the windmill then. We'll scout around if we're nearby. Thank you for the information. Be wary of traveling there as well. No worries. Have safe travels, everyone. Have safe travels, everyone. There goes my slurring of words again. But high off area? That might be a good thing to remember. But let's talk to Tangerin first. Because they are missing their girlfriend. But now they're also missing their horn. <laughs> Youch. By the spicy berries of the land, your horn. We're guessing that rock did this to you. <laughs> oh, you gotta tell us what happened, or we can't help. 
<laughs> fine, I'll tell ya. I was gonna break the rock to be the strongest, but then my horn broke. It doesn't hurt or anything, but some bandit snapped it. I can't heal it. What could bandits possibly do with your horn? D don't ask me, but I need it, or I can't break the rock. That should be the least of your worries. Look, just leave it to us. We'll get it back from the bandits. Try not to break anything else while we return. Yeah, we have we have something like that. The Bug Ranger plushie? Th that's not it. My horn, my horn is orange, like me, okay? I almost called it a horange. <laughs> but here's your horange. Yay! You really got it. I'm all patched up now. All right, now you should definitely rest. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna break the rock. W wait. Is it gonna go well? What? I guess we should check in on him. Let's. <laughs> I don't remember any of the voices I did, and because my voice was damaged, and I can't remember any of the voices, it sounds horrible. I'm so sorry. All the voices are inconsistent, including these. Well, maybe not Leaf and Kaboo, because those two voices were always the same, but... It's you! Thank you so much! Now I can break this rock. I implore you to reconsider. You've, you've hurt yourself already. Nah, I'm gonna do it. Just watch! Are they gonna... <gasps> And a medal? You got the Mightier Pebble Medal. Grants Kaboo the Boulder Toss skill, which can target airborne enemies. Well, it's not quite broken, but... I did it! I broke the rock! A champion of the people! So much honor! C congrats I can rest now. I deserve it for working so hard! See you, and thanks! God. Well, at least we benefited from it! Am I right with... Oh wow, three metal points. Okay, well I don't need metal Mighty Pebble, but Okay, I just put it on, but I haven't used a mightier pebble either, and it seems more appealing to me, so I'll 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 call the shots. But we unlocked a new area that I'm assuming we could just go around in. Yes we can. Alright. Let's actually talk to the bug here. Who must have been trapped here and starving? Do you need food? Welcome to the one and only Wacka Farms. Here you can play Wacka Worm to win bit uh, to win berries. Get over 25 worms for a special prize. Our current high score is zero. Ugh, where are the customers? Been a while since anyone came. I might have to close down at this rate. Uh, excuse us. What is it? Can't you see that I'm Wait, are you customers? Depends. What do you do here? Oh welcome! Welcome to the Wack Farms! Here, we play a popular game called Wack a Worm. Oh, that's the game we played at the festival. Yeah, the festival hosts it sometimes, but here you can play it whenever you want. It's 10 berries for a try, and depending on his score, you can win quite a few berries or items back. So, are you interested in playing Wacka Worm? It's 10 berries for a try. We'll give it a try. Alright, please get into the arena so we can start. And V is going to be the only one playing because Shale's the Beamerang. And right here, I can try to practice her voice. Hi, I'm V. Maybe I can beat everyone. I have a sister. She hates me, but at least I have my beamerang, which I stole. I didn't steal it. I was sold by a shady man named Shades. That should have rang some red red flags or some alarm bells. But I'm too, I'm too blinded by my want to become an explorer. But so far, it's been working. That's not V's voice. Um, do I have to add more sass to it? More sass. Um. Well, duh. I don't really know. Yeah, that sounds more like it. Um, well, if you would just listen to what I have to say. This is me recreating what it would sound like if she was talking to her sister, but I don't know if that's weird. Am I just acting? Am I cosplaying? Am I missing these? No, oh, I missed three. Oh my god, I missed four, actually. Um, okay, I can actually practice the voice more when I actually see her dialogue options. Oh god. Oh no, please. I want 25. I want 25. Last minute hit? No! Well, look at that. You got 24 worms. <laughs> what do we get? Here's something for your efforts. 24 berries. Oh god. Thank you for playing. Come back again. I at least got my berries back, but... Oh god, I thought I wasted those 10 berries because we are tight on hand cash right now. So, let me listen to this banger song. What song is this? Is this just a general fight? It is the fight song, which I I feel like I haven't heard in so long. 
Have I- Is it because I've been ignoring every fight? Okay. Okay, I see why live commentary is painful. Because I am absolutely being destroyed by this minigame with stationary worms. But maybe I have to listen to my previous recordings or previous videos on how to sound like V again. Because I should not be butchering her voice so hard right now. That was- Was that a two for one? <clears throat> I, I guess I was and down it is so hard to aim this like the first time I played like in the golden festival on the switch it was extremely hard okay now I am playing with the switch controller but that doesn't make it, it any less difficult I need at least 10 to regain what I lost I did worse I did worse am I just bad at video games I mean, that's what makes them so fun, but oh my gosh, I did not know I was this bad. Or maybe, okay, I could chalk it up to live commentary or being bad. I'll chalk it up to live commentary. The beamerang didn't even come out that time. Oh my god, please, please just stay still. Please be an easy target for me. I beg of you. It didn't reach. My, dis my depth perception is off, or I just don't know the distance that the beamerang goes. But it's looking better here. There are so many right there. And I made two of them drop. Well, one was because I took too long, but the other I was too close. So I could take the blame for only half of that. But, oh, that's a gold mine. Don't miss. Don't miss. I missed. Okay, okay. Things are looking much brighter now because I've just passed the halfway mark in time. And I've hit a lot more worms than I did before. I just need four more. Come on, please let me be lucky. I'm so lucky. I'm a god. I, <laughs> that is such a drastic jump. I'm not a god. I am not Venus or any other Greek god. But I did get 30. Worth it. So worth it. Th 30 worms? 30? <laughs> More farm. What was that? A special code for a special menu that's the reward when you figure it out it's worth it how mysterious oh and take these too we got a heartberry this was definitely worth it i knew about the more farm but i forgot about the heartberry but i'll definitely be using it on kaboo maybe that was too bold of me to do it but more farm i'll talk about more farm as we head over to the factory more farm is bolded and written in red and put in some kind of menu. This is actually for when you start a save file, that is a menu. And when you put in more farm as your name, the rules of the game will change. I believe more farm requires you to, um, let me, let me think. I believe it is the one where you have to level up by using berries. If not, that is a different code and I'll have the real reason of more farm behind oh the real reason of more farm on screen but I believe that's what it is but it's a way for you to make the game more difficult but also more enjoyable I am doing that on the switch but I haven't tried it in a while well not more farm but a different set of menu codes but there will be more to find much later on or soon since we've hit chapter five but ah you're the ones that took their investigation request right Go on in. This is the power plant inside the V's Kingdom tree, correct? It feels like more than one room in the honey factory. In a way, it kind of is. This is part of the honey factory, but... Ugh, it seems the problems never stop popping for us to fix. Why is it in another tree? Are all the trees connected? I mean... Oh, yeah! The tree that we used... Well, that wasn't that hard of a puzzle. We hit two buttons and that's it. We were meant to light them all up at once, if that was not clear. But let me just save here. But yes, the tree we went up in Defiant Root is for the beehive. And then we crossed the bridge for the tree of the honey factory. But we saved and... Huh? This hole wasn't supposed to be here. Maybe it's what caused the alarm? We should prepare before going ahead. Well, the quest is for us to check out what went wrong in the factory, right? Investigation. If something went wrong, requesting assistance for an investigation. So, investigate we shall.
Eggs? Is this what caused the lockdown? What's this feeling in the air? A Pokemon cry? A Pokemon? A giant midge? It's overflowing with electricity. It's gonna pay for causing us so much trouble. Oh god. Now the question is, am I ready for this? Let me spy on the brood mother. Brood mother? Oh, st- What? Stop it! I'm tired of getting numbed. Oh, I get it, because we got numbed, so we stopped talking. Urgh, we gotta stop the small ones from attacking so we can take care of this one. Small ones from attacking? Why, yes, because the brood mother is a giant midge, so other midges will come in and try to attack us as well. And so, if we do attack the brood mother while there are other midges around, I hope that we can see it at some point, they will actually attack us just like other brood. Uh, other brood mothers, no, other midges. But let me block the charge five damage. And blocking a normal suck. That's a weird way to call it. So, a small handful of. Wait, let me just check. Boulder toss. Tosses a big rock at a foe. It can hit near my enemy suit. Press the buttons shown for the command to succeed. Okay. Left, right, X, up, X. And. This is like the. Oh, what am I trying to say? This is like the attacks from other enemies that throw rocks at us but let's try the ice fall but yes a couple of attacks that they can use is the charge as you saw before and electric oh yeah electric projectiles and delayed electric shocks which well are projectiles that we've seen before well they're typing not typing how they were used yes delayed shots of course but these can inflict numb and I remember this being a very hard fight, but I think because of how much better I am at the game, I may be saying it too early. Perfect block. I, I confidently can say I feel like I am better at the game and research this more. I do remember that they resist numb and freeze, so I think it is very important to still prioritize the Broodmother. And I guess the brood mother doesn't attack when you attack the midges, which is very good. But oh god, I meant to. I did not mean to freeze. I meant to. Well, you can resist, but you can also still inflict it. Awesome, thank you, V. And I think it's okay if we keep one charge off of V and try to. I need to heal up. Yeah, I'll heal up, Leaf. But also, is this good for TP? We can make this donut at any time, so very worth using it anytime you want. Also, it costs five berries to make because the honey drop is two and the flower is three. So I'd say definitely worth the time to just keep using it over and over again. But what do I want to do? I'm going to... Uh... Alright, I'm going to heal up Kaboo because Kaboo is taking a lot more damage. And roasted berries or berry juice? I say... I say leaf croissant. Why did I not think of that? And because they have no defense, it's very worth using tornado toss again if I could use the attack properly. Could have done one extra damage, but whatever. And... I think it's worth a turn relay to get rid of the smidge and make sure that the brood mother doesn't actually attack us. What was that? Was that a charge? I cannot tell. Well, you are numb now. And I do have to use an item on you. Berry juice cures any status effect. Thank you, bartenders at the underground area. I think it was a bartender. But let's get a pep talk. So sorry. Let's get a pep talk ready. <clears throat> and... Okay, I'm gonna have Kaboo use Sturdy, and hopefully they attack only Kaboo, and they go for Leaf, of course. Come on, you attack a second time, and you use it on Delayed Shot, and you attack Leaf again. Why did I do that? What was the point? And the Delayed Shot would've went to Leaf as well. God. Okay. No, no, no! 
I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do this. Please attack a boo. I fucked up. I'll admit. I made a mistake. So, they can attack twice per turn now. If that was not obvious. <clears throat> Great. I'm going to accept my fate and die. Why am I even blocking? I'll get to the point where they get to 50% HP because that's when they start attacking twice. I'll be back. Okay, so I did say I was gonna use Needle Pincer, and then I completely forgot about it. So, I will be doing less damage. Actually, no, I'll do it the next turn. I'll do it the next turn. Why? Because I can. But I also need to regain my TP first. And hopefully they don't attack Leaf. They attack Leaf. They have two attacks per turn now, and awesome. Thank you for the back. Wow, back support badge. All right, I'll take you down with Ice Fall. And freeze the midge in the back so we don't get attacked again. This might be a waste because there is no defense, but let me show you. X, A, two and one, although, that seems pretty weak right now. If we get enough badges or items that increases attack, that could be devastating for the other team. Other team, our enemies. It is honestly one of the strongest attacks in the game that I have abused so much in previous games or previous battles. And by previous battles, I mean when I played this game by myself. Well, I'm still playing the game by myself, but when I first played it, I'm horrible with words. But I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. And blocked? Okay. I need to use something else, like maybe a item that doesn't have any TP recovery. Let's see what I can do. I can use Roasted Berries just because it's the safest option. Okay. Ooh, I sh could have tried getting an awesome one. Okay. Because we are very close to beating him. Or her, sorry, mother. We are on the cups of winning. And that midge is on the cups of dying. So please, I will take you out. And... Is it worth it if I had used Leaf here? I don't think it was. Okay, good block. And high defense, but not on the first half of the attack. Thanks. Well, okay, thank you, because those blocks actually did no damage. And I think this is how we win. Please let this be how we win. Please? No, I need just one more attack. I do. All right, as long as at least V is still alive. Because with V, we can win any game. And delayed shot does not cost a turn, which I almost said about. Well, V has always been... Wait, why did I say Leaf earlier? Since V has been getting all this shine and spotlight, let's just have Kaboo do it. Oh, whoa. Well, oh yeah, we already hit a level up before. Rank up. There, that should do it. V, have you found what caused the lockdown? It seemed like this midge was the issue. I see. We will get rid of the eggs before midges are born. Good work. Allow me to reward you for assisting the bee kingdom. We got 40 berries. Awesome. Well, we have lots to do, so let's get started. They're gonna clean up all the eggs. Wow. So? Yes, we do get hurt. I just want to check. But there is a hole back here. And there are a lot of spears, so the wasp were definitely here. But the water is electrocuted by the wire. If we hit this switch. This area right here. 
Let's cut some grass. And Diana and ant miners? Oh, hey, it's you guys. So, figure out what you want. 50 berries for this tunnel. This time we do have enough berries, so here you go. Those berries don't even taste good. We don't think her taste would be the only thing weird here. Oi, I'm doing you a favor, okay? Just sit and watch. Well, you should be doing this without us paying you. But... <laughs> Thank you for making the tunnel. Phew, all done. Thanks, y'all. We're in your debt once again, Diana. Thank you. Well, I'm off. See you some other time, folks. We are not in debt to her. She's in debt to us. We've been giving her berries. Well, we are impatient, but... The tunnels always have a symbol for where they're going, and this is green, and it looks like grass. So, 1 plus 2 is 4. Wait, no. 2 plus 2 is 4. I swear I know my math. Please don't hammer me on that, but... This is a green area with a green enemy. This... I will talk about later, but for now, let's head back into the Golden Settlement. Or actually just the tunnel, because I think this is a good place to end it off here. And next time, we have other handfuls of quests to do. But today, we helped <laughs> Tangerine get his horn and cleared up the mystery behind the power plant. Well, not mystery, we investigated. And with the spears here, we can only assume that there was a fight between the wasp and the midges. But to say who was the reason for the power to go down, or for Code 32 to be enacted, is still up in the air. And I don't think this ever gets resolved. But we see the damages that are caused, and that the Broodmother got its powers from, or its numbing abilities from this wire into the water. But probably trying to supercharge her eggs as well, to make her brood stronger. But, with that aside, I'll see you all next time.